it was quite unpleasant. Oh, there we go. But I will be going for the smaller screen though. Hang on. Because it goes bigger after. It's a vampire game. It's supposed to be scary or spoopy. Made by SSI games that I company that. I have played games, a lot of games last year. As he denies the Dark Lord is placed to rest, the veil of darkness shall be lifted and the evil reign of terror shall come to an end. Yeah, a vampire game from the good old days. Uh oh, look at the guy at the back. Oh, he's a bat. And the guy's like looking at his map with a lighter. Oh, what's gonna happen? Uh oh. Oh, he's a. Uh... Oh no! Don't look! No! Run! Oosh! Oh boy. And it went smaller again. Not sure why, but okay. I'll, uh, I'll stretch the screen if needed. Sorry. I guess it's the intro that needs to be... Uh... There we go. You have flown your small cargo plane through just about everything. So a flight over the dreaded Carpathian mountains deep within the heart of ancient Romania was a little was of little concern. You think you remember this game? Awesome. I don't because I have never played it before. What uh, good question. It would be 1993. You are correct. Unfortunately, you have not gone and seen it. Evil unknown to the modern day world watches from the mist and shrouded valley below. Oh, he looks angry. Not over my mountain. Pew pew pew. Yeah, Paradise it. Yeah, definitely. Did you play that game, Paradise? Uh oh. Uh. A tingling creeps up the back of your neck as you are engulfed in a cold chill. You think it. Well, you, it's only the intro though. I don't know about the rest of the game, we'll have to see. I've never played that game either. It was recommended, so I'm, I was supposed to try it out on the anniversary stream, but because I've seen that it was an RPG action, I figured that I wouldn't finish it in one night, and I wanted to fully enjoy the game. His, uh, it, it was his medallion, I guess, that has a projector in, integrated in it. It's not too far from reality now. <laughs> oh boy! Windshield and engine are hopelessly destroyed by the sinister bats. As you brace for the inevitable crash, you, are, you attempt to regain control of your plane. Uh, yeah, they made a huge effort with the stuff that they had. Oh, look at that! He has a head! Oh, ha 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 ha! He laughs. Amazed that you are still alive, you stagger from the wreckage. Ooh. Oh boy. 
The last of your strength wanes as you fall to the earth, unconscious, helpless, as unknown hands reach out to grab, grasp you. Oh. A shadow beckons and is quickly, it goes pretty fast. Together they descend into the village below as the day gives way to night and the fog closes in. I've put it only 4,000 cycles, so it should be enough. Or it should be low enough. Okay. You awaken. Oh, we're not done yet. You. You. She's cute. Aww. Oh, she's wearing a a choker. She might be bitten if it's a vampire game. Okay, I need to resize it. One sec. There we go. Ah, my head, I feel like I was slammed by a speeding truck. Phew, I'm a little dizzy too. Perhaps you should lie back down. Father said it's a miracle that you're even alive. I'll be alright. So who are you and where the hell am I? The last thing I remember... Father will explain everything. He asked to see you as soon as you regain consciousness. As for my name, it's De Deirdre. De De I'll call her Didi, okay? And you are? Nah, he's a guy, so I have to give him a guy's name. Jack? My name is Jack. I guess you should take me to your father. We don't want to keep him waiting, do we? Father wishes to speak to you alone, so you had better go by yourself. I'll stay here and tidy up a bit. You can find father in his study. Just go down the stairs in the hall through the first door to your right and enter the room straight across the first floor hall. Am I gonna remember that? Thanks, I'm sure I'm f I'll find my way. Maybe after I get some answers, we'll have a chance to talk some more. I would like that, but knowing father, it leaves you little time to flirt with his only daughter. Wow, she's, uh, she's not dumb, right? Jack, this is the disc option menu. You may save, restore, delete, save, change an old save name, blah, 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 yin, yin, yin. Press the escape key or the right mouse button to return to the game. Start. There we go. I have a choice to put the name in the save game. It's going to be bad. You had not, uh, better not keep father waiting. He's most anxious to talk to you. Okay, okay. How do I walk? Oh boy. Can I... Nothing to take. Uh, okay. How am I supposed to open this? Okay. Would you like to play the game with full simplified or easy combat? Uh, easy. Okay, she said down the stairs, right? Who are you? I see that you're alive. Mr. Christopher Rick will be most pleased. Why is it underlined? So I've heard... I believe he's waiting for me. Yes, he is. So please don't keep him waiting. Mr. Chris is a very busy man. Oh, I can type things. That's going to be interesting. Vampire? 
Yeah, interesting. Vampires? No, it doesn't give me the option yet. <laughs> it's like, no, you're trying to be too smart here. Oh, did I go the right way? No, I went outside. For some reason, the art reminds me of Ultima. I know it's not the same, but... I guess that's the study? That doesn't look like a study. It looks like a music room. <laughs> where the hell is the study? I don't even know where I'm going. She gave me instructions, but... Oh! I guess that's a guy. I see that you're alive and well. When the metal beast fell from the sky, Digi and my servant Ivan went to investigate. I must say they were stunned when they stumbled from the wreckage. Do you see? So you saw. Hang on, let me bring the, the sound down a bit. Pretty loud. There we go. I couldn't hear myself talk. Okay, metal. Metal beast? Haven't you ever heard of an airplane? Airplane? No, I haven't, nor have I ever seen such a machine. You will find that this valley is somewhat behind the times, good sir. We have never seen this thing you call an airplane. Oh, so every time something gets underlined, gets added my options, sir. Please don't call me that, I never liked it when people call me sir, my name is Jack. Forgive my lack of manners, my name is Kirill. Airplane. I would appreciate if someone showed, uh, could show me where I crashed. I would like to take a look at my plane. In time, Jack, you have my promise that I'll try to help you in any way possible. But for now, you should use some rest, and a few more days won't make a difference. I'll make sure you're suitably taken care of. In the meantime, I would be so bold as to ask a small favor of you. What is the favor? How could I say no? Your daughter quite possibly saved my life. Oh, look at this smug smile. What do you want me to do? Uh, some time ago, I lent a fine carpenter's hammer to a fellow villager. Good tools are hard to come by in the valley, and Edward hasn't made an effort to return the hammer to me. Could you go to him and get me the tool? I would ask Ivan to do this, but there are many more important duties to which he must attend. So I'm an errand boy. I'll do that. Sure. Tool? What's all you want? That's all you want me to do? Get back your hammer? That's all. And don't let Edward give you a hard time. He can be feisty at times. Come back when you've got the hammer and we'll talk some more. By the way, before I forget, be sure to ask Ivan for some coins. And if it interests you, there's a tavern in the village. Feel free to use the coins as you wish. Mm, I don't know. Can I ask other things? Coins? No, it doesn't let me add things. I don't know. I don't really understand. I'm supposed to be able to write things there. Okay, let's go see Ivan. Uh, yes, I know he's in the study, but I want to talk to you about coins. Oh, hey Ivan, Kirill uh, told me to ask you for some money. So it does, you can use special words. Yes, I know. Here are the coins that I was asked to give you. Make sure you spend them well, stranger. Spend? Lighten up, Kirill told me I could spend the coins on whatever I find. Oh wait, he's getting a little bit angry. That may be true, nevertheless, spend the coins wisely. Bye. Okay. All right.
Alright, let's discover this fantastic... Oh, I apologize. This fantastic game. I have a knife. Nothing to hit. I'm supposed to be able to look at my paper doll. Oh, that's punching. I'm supposed to be able to equip things. I looked at the um, inventory real quick, or no, the manual. I know that the um, the the little guy in the the well, your character in the um, this means that like it, there's a skeleton that goes up, and if your character is a full skeleton, then you're dead. But I don't understand how I'm supposed to see my inventory or my paper my paper doll. Aha! Jesus. All right. Easy combat. What did I just do? I threw it. Ah, uh, crap. Where is it now? Oh, it's there. Okay. Phew. <laughs> Look at that! That's so fancy! Wow, I'm impressed. Like, this game is so... in front of its time. I don't know what that base is supposed to be about. Oh, that's the bar. Okay. Uh, I was supposed to go get the hammer, right? Let's go find the hammer first. <laughs> I look so dangerous with my little knife there. Hello, I'm Annabelle. Hello, Annabelle, my name is Jack. I hope you didn't come here to buy something. You sort of caught me at a bad time. I haven't had much of a chance to get to get out and pick many herbs. Alright, so she's an apothecary. Of course, I do have some fennel seeds. I'll sell you for a silver piece, and if by chance you have something I might want to buy, tell me what it is. Okay. Fennel. Fennel seeds? Is there a reason why I would want to buy fennel seeds? I don't know. The seeds have several different properties. I'm sure you could find a use for them. Do you want to buy them? Thanks, here are your seeds. Okay, apparently I bought the seeds. Hey, dehumanization. How are you? Maybe I should have ha asked about the properties. Properties. Right, seeds. I know. Would you like to buy some fennel seeds? I sold you those fennel seeds, don't you remember? Sorry, but there are other things I'd rather spend my silver on. Okay. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, how much money do I have now? How do I open this up? Did I use all my coins already? You think so? I, I haven't played Shadow Run for NES. Where is my cash, though? I'm scared that I might have made a mistake, though. So I'm gonna restore. Where are my coins? I don't see them, eh? I'm trying to left click and right click, but it doesn't really tell me. It looks similar. I haven't played the game, so I don't know. But it's cool though, like... Look at this. Like this this impresses me a lot. For an old game to do something like that. This is really like something that you would see in newer games, but not in these kind of games. Alright, so I'm not gonna go there. Oh. How do you pick things? Pry bar.
It's a bit difficult to see what I'm supposed to be able to interact with, but I guess I'll probably figure it out. Good day to you, sir. If you're interested in buying something, please tell me what it is and I will let you know if I have it. You might be interested to know what I've that I've got a fine oil lamp for sale. Do you want to buy it for silver coin? Sir, please don't call me that. I never liked it when people call me sir. My name is Jack. My name is Eon. Okay, are you sure you're not interested in buying anything in particular? If so, just let me know what it is and uh, you would like to purchase. I'm sure you have something that you might want to buy. Oh crap. I bought that, but I don't know how much I have. Bye. Okay. I think the lamp is probably helpful, but I still don't know where my money is. I just know that I have encumbrance. What odd is this? Like, Whatever. Hopefully, uh, I didn't make a mistake. Maybe the guy is in the bar. Yeah, I'm going around with my knife, like, I look so menacing. Did you hear? They still can't find Edward's body. Oh, 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 that's the guy I'm looking for. Why, with all that blood in the library, I bet it was the werewolf that got him. If it was the werewolf, I wonder how it got to his house. Who cares what got him? Edward was a mighty strange fellow and he didn't care one bit about his fellow man. If it was the werewolf, don't you think that there would be something left behind? I mean, the werebeast doesn't eat cloth and bone. Who cares? The man is dead and gone. Let's hope that whatever got him doesn't get one of us. Uh, yeah, I just said, I, they just said that. Well, that's a bit of a problem. Okay. Can I steal your thing? No. What about this? Can I take these darts? Why not? Can I troll them? Like, wee! No. Uh, oops, I just got rid of it. I'm sorry, I'm just starting this game, so it's a little bit difficult for me right now. Oh, really? I got, like, I have to equip them one by one? Okay, whatever. All right, what is this? I can't take them. Okay, this this guy, he says the same thing. They're just talking to each other. What about this gentleman? He's, oh, they're, they're all talking, these three guys. Can't pick them up. Let's talk to the barman. Well, hello there. Um, Seth, darling, can you could you come here for a moment? I need a light. Sophia, can't you see I'm talking to this man? I'll be over in a minute. You don't smoke, do you? If you need a light, just let me know. Personally, I don't like tobacco, but I do occasionally succumb to the pipe. Oh well. Patience, dear Sophia, patience. Anyway, I'm Seth, the barkeep. Can I get you anything? A nail, some food, or wine, perhaps? Tell me about Sophia. Uh, what's the other name? The Eduard? No. Nope. It's good to meet you, Seth. My name is Jack. Eh, 
wait a minute, I don't remember seeing you here before. You're not the guy that uh, came from that thing that fall out, fell out of the sky, are you? Yeah. Airplane. Metal. Jesus, it's gonna be hard. Barkeep, are you just a barkeep or do you own this place? Place is mine, it was passed on to me by my father. If I'm right, I think the tavern's been owned by my family for several generations. It's not a bad way to make a living, you know. Actually, about the only thing I like before uh, better is collecting things. Like my cups, for example. You won't find a finer set in all the known world. Look at them, especially the gold goblet. You'll never see another one like it. I wouldn't bet on that. Goblet. Yes, that goblet of yours is ver a very nice cup, and I bet it's worth a good bit. Why, thank you. It's my finest, my pride and joy. I'm just aching to drink from such a fine cup. Of course, I'd never do such a thing if I had the finest, unless I had the finest vintage. Only the best for such a fine goblet, eh? Oh boy. Hello there. Why don't you pull up a seat? I will talk for a while. My name's Sophia. Do you want a drink? Sure, drink. Thanks, Sophia, but not now. I'd like to, but I've got some things I've got to take care of. If you ever change your mind, you know where I'll be. A drink? Maybe I changed my mind. Apparently not. No, no, no. Bye. Uh, what is this? Hey, Tusk. Thanks. Appreciate it. We are heading on to the new year now with this game. Veil of Darkness. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure when, at one point I'm going to get ganked by something. Can I open this? Hey, AJ. AJ Lab from the future. Yes, someone just followed. Thanks. Thanks for the follow, Tail Blue Green. Welcome to the Veil of Darkness stream, a vampire game. I'm still struggling to understand all the controls, so uh, I apologize if uh, if I seem a bit disoriented. <laughs> but if I'm, uh, if you, if any of you is knowledgeable with the game and uh, see that I am begging for a good advice here, you are more than welcome to give it to me. Look at that. Like skulls. So creepy. What a kind of weird hotel. Also, apparently, it's supposed to be a bit scary, so. I look forward to see that. Apparently, the guy I'm supposed to be looking for, Edward, is um, dead in the library. I have to find it. And the guys in the bar were talking about maybe um, a werewolf. I don't know if I'm supposed to be able to look into these things. Because I'm trying to interact with the, the left and the right mouse button, but I'm not able to. So they might just be decorations. This door is locked. 
Oh boy. What do you mean nothing to- oh, torn fabric. Well, this- this is clearly... strange. I mean, look at that. Like, the blood comes from here. You haven't had this much fun on a relaxing chill stream for a while? Appreciate it. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm also a little bit more tired than I usually am. Uh, normally I have a little bit more energy, but yeah, I try to keep it relaxed and fun. And I'm not like a super high energy person. Oh no! Okay, I was scared the game. <laughs> but yeah. I'm not like... I'm not super... All the time. Just trying to understand what's going on with this game right now. I'm, I hope I'm not gonna get jump scared too much, but we'll have to see. These stair things are a little bit scary though. I have a feeling I'm supposed to be interacting with way more things, but I'm not understanding how yet. Or maybe I'm just overthinking it? I, I should go back to the... Uh, uh, I have a difficulty saying the guy's name too. I think it's Chris something. But they did say he was dead, so I don't think this guy's gonna get his hammer back. What's this? You don't have the hammer I asked you to fetch? Please don't waste my time, Jack. I've been most generous. The least you can do for me is fetch the hammer. Alright, let's find this stupid hammer. He's like, oh yeah, that Ivan uh, has more uh, important things to do, but <laughs> he's just standing there in the hallway doing nothing. Is this a door leading outside? <laughs> okay, it's it's kind of like in Harry Potter where the houses are bigger in the inside than on the outside. Because <laughs> this house is way bigger than it looks. Okay, who's that guy? Ah, you're, you're the man George was talking about. He said you were a monster, but you're just a man. I think the monster that George was talking about is my plane. Plane? I've never heard of one. Are you sure it isn't a monster like the werewolf that attacked Mother? Maybe you can show me this plane if it's alright with my dad? I don't think it's a good idea right now. Maybe some other time before I leave this place. You're just like Dad. He never lets me do anything. All he ever wants to do is show me how to make candles. <laughs> I don't care about candles. I want to see the thing that fell out of the sky. Uh, bye. Go make some candles, kid. I don't want to make candles. All right. Oh, okay. We're downstairs. There's a study. Nothing to take. I don't know. Am I supposed to? Like, can I search? No, it's just the car. Oh, but there's a door here. <laughs> That's a big basement. Oh, there's the guy. Mr. Candle Guy. Oh, my name is Josep. Okay. I don't recall seeing you before. You wouldn't be the stranger that everyone's talking about, the outlander that fell from the sky. Outlander? I guess I've been called worse. My name's Jack. 
My son Anton heard George talking about you in the in Ian's storehouse the other day. I must say the nature of this valley has worked its way into my son's imagination. He said you're more bird than man, covered in glistening scales of steel and armed with long sharp talons. I hope the madness doesn't touch Anton ever since my wife's death he's had such terrible nightmares. And now I find him describing you as some kind of beast. Sorry to hear about your wife, and I wouldn't worry about Anton. I think he heard of my plane. That is quite all right. Death is a never-present companion in, in this place. I've learned to accept the fact that my wife, like so many here, met a most untimely death. Anton and I live alone. I've managed to make them a modest living as a candle maker. There's always a need for a light in a place as dark as the valley. Tell me about your son. Do you mind if I talk to your son? No, go right ahead. You'll find him in his bedroom. I already did. Though I would ask you to try and remember not to mention anything about Natalia. She's a good friend of his, one who is very sick and dying. Okay. Kendall? Did you say that you're a candle maker? Yes, I did. I'm also the only one you'll find. I hope you pass the skill. No, I hope to pass the skill onto my son before I pass away. Candles are normally one silver piece each, but these candles aren't ready for sale yet. If you come back later, I have some to sell you. Um, Natalia? Nope. Bye. <laughs> Is there an alignment in this game? Because I'm totally gonna ask that boy about Natalia. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think they have electricity in this game. At least it doesn't look like it, because they all have like... Um, well, no, I don't know if it's like, it seems, as far as I understand, they're like, sort of cut off from the world, a little bit like, you know, Amish or something, and that might be uh, gas lights or something like that. Uh, what about Natalia? Anton, your father, don't... <laughs> tells me that you have a very good friend who is sick. Natalia. Dad doesn't think I know where she's going to... Uh, no, Dad doesn't think I know she's going to die. I'm not stupid. I've seen other that had the madness and they all died. He won't even let me see... Let me go see her. Stupid? No one said you're stupid, Anton. But you should realize that there's always a chance that... Natalia may live. I know, I know, but I still wish Dad would let me see her. I'm just glad that Natalia agre agreed to swap locks of hair before she went mad. At least I'll have something to remember her by if she dies. See? Maybe your dad doesn't want you to see her because he's afraid you'll get the madness. You can't catch the madness. It's not like a cold. That says the pale, it's the pale prince's evil soul reaching out and touching his children. The people in the valley. That says we're all forsaken, lost to the rest of the world. Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on here. I'm glad you'll have something to remember her by. Me too. Sure. Okay, I, I told him about that already. Um... Pale Prince? Prince? Pale? Uh, what did he say? Uh, the Madness. No. Alright. Okay, that's not really where I wanted to go to, but uh, I got some info.
I can't go. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's visit the bit this place. This door is locked. They said they were looking for the body, eh? But I mean, like, this seems obvious to me that the body might be here. But I don't seem to be able to inspect or anything. Unless there is a trigger somewhere. Like, you know, this was, this, this was moved. No. It's not letting me move. Okay. It's weird because the game sort of doesn't really like what I'm doing right now. Okay. Trying to see, but unless there's a key somewhere, but I don't see anything. Look under the table. No. I don't know. I guess that's not where I suppose I'm supposed to go yet. All right. Um, this is the store. It's a weird house. Or it's the. Um, which you call it the uh, the storage house no i don't want to go there that's the oh that's the general store I don't know. I don't know. Am I missing something out here? It seems like like I can't leave the map. See? I can't go any further, so it appears that I might be s missing something. Yeah, this is all new to me too. What is this scratch here? I might have to look a little bit through the manual to see if I'm missing a, something. Hang on. Let's check the manual out.
Okay. So our NPC interaction towards gaming environment. There's like a super long story. The beginning. Character screen, character's body, icons. There is a tree. Oh my god, hang on, hang on. Hit point status, encumbrance, right hand action. Action icons display the available actions of an object when it is placed in your character's hand. Left hand action icon. Action icons display the available actions of an object placed in your character left. Icons representing these games features are located in the upper right hand corner of the character screen. Upper hand right hand corner of the character screen. Oh, this is supposed to be here. I guess I don't have it. That might be because I'm playing the simple way. The auto map icon replaces the map, the valley map icon when your character is in one of the several mazes found in the game. The prophecy icon appears after the prophecy is given to your character early in the game. Okay. <laughs> character inventory slots. Okay, that's fine. Status. Area, lower hand corner of the character screen. For users with a tree button mouse, the middle button uses the object in your character action hand. I don't know if it's gonna recognize it though. It did. Okay. Pause the game, click on the disc icon. The game is paused. Missing curses and other outside influence. These icons are displayed in the mirror to the right side of the character. Throughout the game, your character will be bestowed with blessing, cursed, or affected by various other outside influences. When this happens, an icon appears in the mirror. There are many different things that affect your character. Some of these effects last until they are counteracted. And some are temporary. <sighs> Mouse instructions. Move your character, place the pointer to the edge of the screen in the direction you want to move. Once you want to move the character, be careful that the mouse pointer is not positioned on top of a non player character. In this case, the pointer becomes a dog bubble. Okay? To move the character screen up and down, move the mouse pointer over the 3D overhead map and onto the text message area on top of the character screen area. Hold the left mouse up and down and drag the character screen to the desired position. Okay. To perform an action with an object in one of your character's hands, left click on that action to initiate it. To pick an object off on the map, position your character directly over the object and left click. The mouse pointer transform into the object. Fine. To drop an item, nah. the right mouse button may be used to swiftly transfer over objects from the map into your character's inventory. My goodness. Okay. Hidden keywords. Okay, I found that out. Excuse me, I'm I'm trying to fi <laughs> to figure out what's going on. Keyboard only operations. These keys are only available when you are not using the mouse. It's fine, I'm using the mouse. Holy crap. Printing out NPC text. 
in order to allow you to look over the various interactions that you have had with NPCs, a print text option is provided. Text can be printed out as you play the game, or you can save the text to a file. If you save the text to a file, you can edit it at a later time. There is a print off and on selection in the login, login option screen. Printing out maps. Only maps you can print in Veil of Darkness are the maze. Several of the objects in Veil of Darkness act as containers, allowing you to place objects inside of them. Some are pouches and sacks. No, that's not what I want. The valley map? No. Prophecies given to your character after a hammer is returned to the NPC in Krill. Krill. So I need to find that bloody hammer get the prophecy. Yikes! Easy combat. I don't care for combat. Da, da, da. In easy combat your character is given a lot of hit points making it hard to him. It. Jesus. I'm, I'm still reading that stupid manual. There are many different kind of objects the character can find and use over the course of play. The object range from keys, potions, silver coins, na na na. To be used, object must be placed somewhere on the large figure of your character in the lower left hand corner. Some objects are worn, such as necklaces, but most are placed on, in one of your character's hands. There are some objects that need to be used in a certain location or combination of objects that must be used together. If an object needs to be used in a certain location, it can be used anywhere in that location. Simply put the... Oh. An example of object used in combination is the lighting of an oil lamp. You must put the oil lamp in one hand, an object to light it in the, the other, and click on usage icon for the object being used to light the lamp. Brace yourself guys. Good thing I didn't start this game on Saturday. I think I would have screamed. Alright. <laughs> I still don't know where that bloody hammer is. But like I can't interact with this. I can only I can only pick things up. So I'm obviously not going to the right place. Where is that hammer? If you guys see a hammer, let me know. I'm supposed to find it. But this is not a house, this is a library. Reminds you of XCOM. It reminds me a lot of things. Uh, but I'm on like this is a SSI game. So this is made by the guys that did all the Curse of the Azerbounds and Pull of Radiance, Pull of Darkness. But it's not their usual style. If I move the dagger in the other hand... No. I can only pick up with the right mouse. Uh... 
Oh, there's a door here. What if uh, Edward lives uh, in this building? Oh, music changed. Who are you? No, it's an old lady. Who are you? Did Ion let you up here? I told him to keep people away. I don't want anybody seeing my poor little Natalia like this. Oh, this is Natalia. Natalia is that little girl's name. If she's sick, maybe I can help her. Help her? No one can help her now. Can't you see she's dying? Natalia's going mad. She's all I've got and I can't lose her. Not after... I've lost her father, but I can't help her. There's no cure for the madness. Oh, how I've tried. Well, don't lose hope. If there's a way to heal Natalia, I'll find it, I promise. I don't know who you are. Thank you for your concern, but would you please leave? I want to be alone with my little girl. Madness? Disease? Cure? Heal? Yeah. Natalia? Oh, I already asked about that. Mad? Oh, I can see. Help. I... Can I talk to Natalia? Holy moly, look at her face. Please, no. Ah, mama, mama, help me. Ah. They're going to... Mama, they want to take me away. No, please, no, Papa. Aww. So creepy. I'm leaving this place. Natalia creeped me out. I haven't even got the the prophecy yet, which is supposed to be early in the game. <laughs> you know you're not doing really well when when the game tells you that it's supposed to be early in the game. Nope. Maybe he has a hammer? Nope. I, I should ask her. <laughs> I don't know if uh, she's the mother of Edward. Maybe she is, and then I can get that bloody hammer back. Nope. Yeah, that little girl looked cre really creepy. <laughs> Look at that, man. Look at all the, the skulls. It's so creepy. Hello, I'm Annabelle. Uh, my name is Jack. I already talked about her, about the fennel seeds. Um, hammer? No, hammer. Where is that hammer? <laughs> Unless, uh, oh, maybe, maybe they're in that, maybe the guy lived in the tavern. I didn't think about that. Look at all the rooms. He ought to live there. No. 
Oh, look at that. That's an item. Well, if I go closer, that looks like an item. I'm telling you, it's an item. Nope. Apparently it's not. Look at all the skulls. So weird. Nope. There's no hammer here. Oops. Oh, come on. Did I check this room out? Yes, I did, I think. Yeah. Oh, there's a grate here. Can I open it up? Just the decor. I'm sure it's going to be super obvious, but right now I'm not getting it. What is happening? Unless there's another door? I talked, I spoke to these guys already, and they had nothing to. Of interest to give me. I have like these darts, but this is still not my hammer. What is this? Fabric. Pry bar. Oh, maybe I can use the pry bar. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I just forgot about this. I found the pry bar. Maybe I can use it on something now. <laughs> Look at me rocking the pry bar and can I use it on this? I'm not sure if I'm supposed to uh Put it in my... This is my right hand, right? I know! Why is there skulls everywhere? It's so creepy. They have a problem. Maybe I can open the door with the pry bar. No, it says the door is locked. I'm sure there is a passage or something, but I can't go. It's not letting me. Do I have to try every book? There's something in the blood that I'm not seeing. I'm clicking like a mad woman. Eventually, I'll find something. It just 
Doesn't appear to be evident right now. If you guys know anything about this game, you can give me a, a tiny hint how to find this hammer. I'll take it. It seems like I should be able to take this. But I'm not. Like, it looks like an item, doesn't it? Do I... I have to do this to pry things? Oh, Jesus. Hang on. I have to use the, the hand icon. Yeah. Hang on, we're gonna test everything out now. I need something like a crate. Can I pry this? No. But the clock. Uh, I think they had crates in the house. Maybe I dreamed that I saw a crate like this. This little guy. Nothing to pry. Look at, like, there's a crate here, or something. Nope. Can I steal the candles? <laughs> Look at all the stuff I could be prying. was a broken closet in the hotel room. That's true. Uh, hammer? No. Alright, let's try that thing. That hotel room. Dusk. There's tons of broken stuff here, too. Oops. I think... No, I think I, the, the, the room that had broken stuff was at the end of the hallway. Yoinks. That... No. What if I... Nothing to hit? Hmm. Nope. Apparently that's not it. No, it's fine. Thanks for... Thanks for trying. The other option, there's one last option. Hang on, I have to check this again. That's the house of the guy. Oops. The house of the guy, there's the... Um... 
Maybe the uh, maybe the hammer was in his house the whole time. Unless I can ask the barman about the hammer. Edward. And these guys, if I talk to them, they, they said pick the blood in the library. It seems like it was his house. Werewolf. I think you are the werewolf. Sorry, my friend, but I'm nothing more than a simpler bar simple bartender. <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. Oh my god. Honey, I may bite, but I'm surely no werewolf. <laughs> Why is he accusing people? A zero. Good evening. I'm trying to find the hammer so I can get the prophecy because apparently you're supposed to find a hammer early in the game. Um, I haven't been very successful. Ivan, do you know anything about Mr. Chris's hammer? I don't know where the hammer is. Edward has not returned it yet. So they're just windows. I can't go there. Look at that house. Like it's huge. I was leading Hello Game Player. From time to time there will be doors behind which there is nothing important. In that case I will present the message there is nothing important behind this door so that you know that you don't need to figure out how to get past this door. Enjoy Veil of Darkness. Um, well, the blood was leading to the... Um, it was leading to the uh, bookcase but the, I couldn't interact with the bookcase for some reason oh there's stuff here look at that I don't know what that is a silver coin okay oh my god I can't even Stack them up. This door is locked. Can I pry it open? That was the solution? What was the solution, Hunter? Oh, going into the house? Like looking here? I don't know how to move the bookcase though. This 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 is the problem. If you know how to do it, let me know, because this is not really explained in, in the booklet how to. And I can't move it with the pry bar, the crowbar. I can't talk to her. Push the bookcase. By clicking the right hand men icon in the small box in the control panel. The right hand. Okay. Okay. Wow. So can I open tons of things like this? Hang on, hang on, hang on. 
if I understand, like, this is how it would work. Like, I, I would do this, but then I have to free my hand. But then it tries, he tries to punch. Hang on, hang on. Can I look pick things? He tries to hit. I'm a bit scared that he's gonna try to hit. I didn't use the hand. I moved with like moving. I played a heretic a mm, couple of weeks ago. Let me check. It's in my view of these. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Let's see. Heretic. When did I play this? Good question. Yeah, I, I keep all the VODs of my stuff. I, I didn't used to, but now I do, since uh, since I've started playing hacker. Heretic, where are you? All videos. Is Heretic? I guess I didn't put collections in my options. But Heretic, like, uh, last month. This is last month. But yeah, you can check it out here. Sending, sending it out to ya. This is that part one. Anyways, okay, we got the, we got that thing moved, and I can go here. Here's my boy. He's dead, obviously. And I got my hammer now. Uh, can I do anything with him? Punch him? <laughs> Never mind. Can I move this bookcase? No. All right, <laughs> progress. Thanks, Hunter. Okay. We found a secret passage. I assume that there will be more secret passages through the game. I wonder if he had a key, though. Because... Hmm... I don't seem to find a key here. Because that door we found... Whatever. Alright, took us forever, but we found that bloody hammer. Got the hammer. You found it. You found the bloody hammer. <laughs> I called it the bloody hammer too. Or as it is said, a bloody tool must foul. My thanks, Jack. I'll give the hammer to Ivan once we have finished talking. Who can it be? Salvation? For a moment I doubted you. Coincidence, I thought. But now I'm sure you're the one. If it wasn't you, the hammer would have never been found. What's so special about this hammer? Oh, I found the hammer alright. 
And good old Edward is dead. Dead! 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 And you're probably all crazy! No, Jack, not crazy. Well, at least not all of us. Cursed is what we are, and so it seems are you. All who find themselves in this valley of darkness are trapped by the evil of this land. But you, my friend, represent hope. Hope for us all. You can deliver from Cairn's evil embrace so we can be free to leave this valley. I think you got the wrong guy. I'm out of here with or without your help. <laughs> I don't think so, Jack. But go ahead and try like the others. Throughout the ages, many outlanders have been drawn into the valley, but not one soul has ever left. Aww. The mountains are high and offer no passage, and those that attempt to leave go mad or are slain by creatures of the night. And I haven't mistaken you for someone else. There are many things in the prophecy that I don't understand, but the first few lines are clear. You are the one, and you will not escape until Karen is destroyed. Tell me about the, this famous prophecy. You want me to believe that I'm the one mentioned in this prophecy of yours? Take the prophecy, Jack. Read the beginning verses. Even you cannot argue with me. It is clear that you're the one. I have studied that piece of parchment all my life and I can learn no more. It's up to you to bring down the Dark Lord. And if you want to leave this valley like the rest of us, that's exactly what you do. Uh, Karen? This Karen, who is he? Karen, the very name stings my... my thong. My thong. He was once a man, but he's no more than a monster, a vampire, a creature that lives by drink killing... drinking the blood of others. He's old, very old, and very powerful. Take these. They're pages from an old book that chronicles the history of the Valley and of Cairn. Yes, things might thong. <laughs> I've done that. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes we French people tend to add H's to things that we shouldn't be. That's what happened. Uh, the story is much too long to tell. All right, I got a book, Escape. I promise nothing. I plan on leaving as soon as I get the chance, if that means Phil Filling this prophecy, then I guess that's what I'll do. As you wish, Jack, but I think you'll find there is no other way. I want you to know that I will offer you any help that you need. You may come and go from my mansion as you please. Um, Natalia. Curse? Vampire? Okay, doesn't want to talk about that prophecy. I already asked about that. Can you tell me more about this prophecy? I thought we had already discussed this. I gave you a prophecy. Read it yourself and then try to tell me that you're not the one. All right, let's read it out. This is the prophecy. Oh, oh, there's a movie or something. Oh, no way. It's so small. Yeah. He shall deny the part he is destined to play. Until he finds a bloody tool must foul. He must free a man cursed from curiosity's sake and dispel one dead but forced to serve. A youth in madness he shall willingly... Okay, that's all my quests, basically. From the ever dark sky shall he descend in a bird of steel. Salvation for those who have been Unright, fully damned. I'm good on the. How is this? How is this game? Well, interesting. I have done l very little progress so far. Uh, you join just at the right moment because this is the important part. You get the prophecy. I guess those are all the the quests you have to do to get to the end. Um, so next thing I should be doing is free a man cursed from curiosity's sake.
because all the rest before got grayed out. I'm glad you've returned, Jack. There are other things I'd like to discuss, but first I must at must thank you once more for finding the hammer. You know I found the hammer already, and good old Edward is dead. Dead, dead. Okay, I already said that. Uh, do you want to tell me more about the prophecy now that I read it? No. Um, curiosity? No. I don't think he's going to be helpful. I need to find this person. Cursed for curiosity's sake. Alright, let's get going. I'm not sure what to do, but let's go. How about you, uh, Tanda? How are you doing? I haven't seen you stream in a couple of days now. Maybe I missed you, though. Hello, I was afraid I, we wouldn't have a chance to talk. Did everything go well with Father? Did it go well? I'm not so sure this is... All like a dream from what your father told me I guess I'm stuck here we are we all are Jack this place is a nightmare for all of us I'm lucky to have a man like my father he has enough power and money to protect us from a lot of the dangers all the day with that nice I had a father day with my daughter kind of we went to the restaurant nightmare well, if I can help it, this nightmare is going to end soon. That guy is a bit confident. Here, I would like you to have this. Father would read stories to me when I was young, and the princess always gave the champion knight her scarf as a token of good luck. Thank you, Didi. I can't say Deirdre, Derp. I could call her Derp, or I can call her Didi. You know when this is all over, we're all far away from here. Maybe you and I can, uh... Yikes. You know, uh... See more of each other? I would really like that, Jack. Let us hope that this... that Let us hope that they will come. Lucky? And I think your father is lucky to have such a lovely daughter. Look at his smug smile. <laughs> You flatter me, Jack. Actually, I think it is Father and I who are lucky because you will free us. I just know you will. And when we are finally gone from this terrible place, maybe Father will let us break open a bottle of that wine he prizes so much and we can celebrate. Thanks, Zero. I'm glad you appreciate it. What wine are you talking about, Didi? Father has the finest wine collection in the valley. There's a wine cellar in the basement, but he always keeps it under lock and key. Ooh. Uh, wine cellar? What? Oh, I already asked that. Basement? Key? Lock? I guess I can't ask her for the key yet. Do you have anything good to say? No, I don't want to speak to him. Can I leave? Or is this Hotel California? This game is like Hotel California, actually. You're stuck in the valley and you can't leave. Oh, now, it, now it's daytime. I got the prophecy here. I got a scarf. Can I wear it? No. I can put in my... You can't tie the ribbon to the knife. I'm not too sure what I should be tying it, tying it up to. Hey, army of cows. What's up? We're playing Veil of Darkness. Still trying to figure out a bit how things are going here, but 
we're doing a little bit better. I hope you haven't come back to buy something. You sort of caught me in a bad time. I haven't had much of a chance to get out and pick many herbs. Of course, I do have some fennel seeds. Annabella, I want to buy those fennel seeds you talked about before. Of course. Let's buy one. Bye. Okay. Anything else I can buy before I head out? Like maybe a weapon, a better weapon than this? See that you've come back, Jack. If you're interested in buying something, please tell me what it is and I will let you know if I have it. Weapon? I don't know much about weapon. I've never sold them. Potions? Uh, key? Bye. <laughs> Bye. No, that guy won't be helpful. Maybe I can leave now. No, I cannot leave. Where am I supposed to go then? Do you know about object magnifying mode? You toggle it by pressing M. Object magnifying mode is on. Is it like, you know, when you hit tab? In, This game has, uh, yeah, they have zero handholding indeed. Interesting. I didn't read it in the manual. <laughs> yeah, I know. I I was suggested this game by by uh, by watchers though. I. I didn't uh, I didn't know about it. Are those candles ready for sale yet? Sorry not yet, you have to try back later. Outlander. Outlander, I guess I've been called worse. My name is Jack. My son Anton. Oh yeah, I, I discussed that. Yeah. I asked all these things before. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sometimes he's angry too. Where am I supposed to go now? Maybe I need to talk to the girl. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll talk to the girl because uh, she wanted to take a drink. Maybe we can go and... Because uh, Jack is kind of a... Um, he likes to flirt a bit. So maybe uh, he's found his match with the girl at the bar. Like this girl. Huh? Have you changed your mind about a drink? I was hoping. Thanks. Ugh. Come on, really? Bye. Do these guys still talk about the death of the... Uh... Has anybody seen Boris in here lately? Aha! No, I haven't. Come to think of it, I wonder what that farmer's been up to. Hey, Northman. Good evening. It's about time to harvest the rest of his crops. He's probably hard, hard at work in the fields. Well, that explains it. I might have to pay him a visit. I've been to his farm a few times. It's not far from the village, and his wife, Silva, makes a mean beef stew. Uh, uh, I don't mean to interrupt, but could you tell me how to get to this farm? Aha! Sure, 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 stranger. Boris and Silva. Farm is basically west of here. Go west and a little bit south. You can't miss it. Try some of the stew if you stop by. Like I said, Silva makes a mean beef stew. Is that all your pea-sized brain can think of, George? Food? 
Got a map. Oh. All right, the village and then the farmhouse. Nice. Noise. Noise, guys. Progress. <laughs> What's that music? <laughs> okay. Yeah, stretching. Maybe I should save, eh? Um, is is there dead ends in this game? Because if there are dead ends, probably. If not, then you know, I should be okay because I have the prophecy to help me out. Boy, didn't anyone teach you to knock before you enter? Something like this could get a stranger like you killed. Uh, sorry about that, I would have knocked, but your door was open and... Uh, no need to be hammering me with apologies and all. Forget about it. Just be thankful I'm not like others around these parts, or for that matter. You're darn lucky I didn't come in through the back door. My wife, Silva, would have skinned you out alive with that butcher knife of hers. That woman always chopping something up. Come to think of it, I'm a lucky finger. Or, I'm, a, I'm lucky a finger or two of mine hasn't found its way to her cooking pot. Stranger? My name's Jack. I'm the one that crashed the other day. So you're the one that I've been hearing about? I've been meaning to head out and take a look at that metal beast myself. Too many wolves near to crash, though. Far more than there should be this close to the village. Crash? Could you give me an idea where I crashed? I'd like to take a look at my plane. Plane? Is that what you call that thing? The way it fell from the sky, I reckon, probably fell into my fields to the northeast of here. Come to think of it, I'm damn glad I've already stripped the fields out that way. Could have destroyed my entire sneezewort crop. I'll have you now. Uh, don't even know what sneezewort is. Besides, you already stripped the fields, then I didn't hurt nice. anything. Nice, thanks for the raid, guys. Welcome. Hey, Oxina, welcome. We're playing a game by SSI. Guys, that made the pool of... Radiant series, a little bit different though. I wasn't accusing you of destroying anything. Silva doesn't like that stuff anyway, as she thinks I should be planting garlic or onions out that way. I keep trying to tell her garlic doesn't grow around here. As far as the onions are concerned, I don't like them. Noise. A vampire. Werewolf? <laughs> He's gonna say, I accuse you of being the werewolf. I think you are the werewolf. <laughs> nah, I'm not a wolf, just a simple farmer. <laughs> <laughs> you use tons of onions and garlic whenever you cook. I use very little garlic and not too much onions. I'm a little bit like this guy. Um, plain? Crash. Could you? No, I already asked that. Um, it is a adventure RPG game. So you're playing a guy that is a pilot that got sort of brought down by bats. Excuse me, in a sort of Romania. A remote place and there's a vampire and you're part of a prophecy and it's really weird <laughs> I know I like it too it's if you use the the keyword werewolf to anybody it seems like it's, he says I think you are the werewolf um, I want to ask about this too no oh whatever let's find Silva he talked about Silva. Yeah, go back asleep. I'm going around with my dagger and I'm just like, hey guys, hey guys. Poop, 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 poop. I got a dagger. It, well, it, it would be kind of Ravenloft, but not really because these guys are a little bit like Amish people. They don't have 
all the technology. They don't know what the hell the plane is. Um, so, yeah. Oh, here's Silva. Is that what the magnifying? No, doesn't make a difference. Once I see an item on the floor, I'll I'll hit magnifying again to see if it makes a difference. I thought I heard someone come into the house. Boris didn't talk your ear off, did he? That husband of mine should spend less time yapping and more time working. Here I am working his food, or uh, cooking his food, and what is he doing sitting yapping to some stranger? Uh, talk, tell me about Boris. Boris is reading a book. Sorry to disturb you. I think I'll be on my... Uh... Reading? Did you say Boris is reading? Well, thank goodness he isn't sleeping. Still, I keep telling him there's plenty of work to be done in the barn, but he doesn't listen. You mentioned the barn. I don't see... I, don't, I didn't see one on the way to the house. It's out the back behind the house. Food? Oh geez, those are rats that you're cutting up? Uh, what do you mean you're cooking his food? You like him too? The credits can be hard to catch, but they're, uh, they're very clever, you know? They make a fine stew. At times the flesh can be a little bit tough. Oh, that's your beef. <laughs> that's what the beef stew is. Oh, I think I'm gonna get sick. And you have to make sure you cut out off their hairless little tails. They can get stuck in your throat if you're not careful. Don't want Boris to be choking to death. Uh, beef stew? <laughs> Do you make beef stew? No. <laughs> I can ask tons of things, but... Oh, I think you are the werewolf. <laughs> so, you know my secret? I can feel the hunger. <laughs> what the? She's the werewolf. Unless she says I'm joking. She's the goddamn were werewolf. <laughs> I didn't save. Oh my god, I'm so dead. I don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, okay. This... Oh, crap. This is so scary. Am I gonna sleep tonight? I'm an outsider who failed to pierce the veil of darkness. And... Oh, okay, we got, we got the, oh, look at that. You just put my head on the wall. Holy moly, this is cool and scary at the same time. Who's the other head? If he denies the Dark Lord his place of rest, the veil of darkness shall be lifted. So basically you have to destroy the coffin. Cool. No, I don't think so. The, it's only ad lib, so I think it's only music that there is. Yeah, I want to restore a previous game. Holy moly! <laughs> that was a bit of a monk ass moment, eh? Okay, let's talk to the guy, but I won't see your double wolf. I'm not ready for that. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Uh, yikes. No. Run. Leave. No, danger. <laughs> Stranger danger. Your wife is crazy. You should leave. 
She makes mean food. Okay. Yeah, so... The magnifying mode is like... See, if I throw the dagger, it's so super small, but it becomes super big if I use the magnifying mode. I don't really think I need it. Um, but I'll... Oh. Yeah, I'll use it. Alright, so... Moral of the story, do not accuse her of... We know who the werewolf, werewolf is now. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna ask the same questions, but... <laughs> yeah, I, I won't accuse her this time around. Yeah, bye. I'm going to slowly go away and uh, leave you there, okay? Oh. No, there's nothing here I can pick up. <laughs> yeah, they all have that the, the, the skull decoration and stuff. Okay, if I leave, does it let me go outside? Oh. I chose me the door. Barn and the farmhouse. The crash site got added. Aha! Look at that! It's great. Pitchfork. A 120 damage point. That's a good weapon. Maybe I can kill her. try it out this time. We have a better weapon. Oh no, there's more subjects. Hang on. Food? Oh jeez, those are rats. You're... No, I already asked that. Uh, never mind. Werewolf. I think you are the werewolf. So you know my secret. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah. Oh crap. How do I fight? Oh my god, like see my skeleton? Oh it has no effect. Oh I threw the hang on hang on hang on. It's because I threw like an idiot, I threw the... Oh, crap. I threw the... The pike. Maybe I need a silver weapon. To kill the werewolf. Okay, I can I skip that? Yeah, I can, okay. I'm going to try, but if I, if it doesn't work, I'm uh, I'm going to try to find something else. I probably can't. I mean, it's a goddamn werewolf. Yeah, the pitchfork has no effect. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't work. Look at that. It went, it, you see my paper doll down in the coffin? It's my health. So, 
uh, as it becomes more of a skeleton, then uh, it means I'm dying. But yeah, okay, she's the werewolf. That's cool. We got a great weapon. Can I kill the chicken? Let's try it out. <laughs> chicken! Oh my, aren't you the violent one? Oh, come on. So... Now the screen, the screen is... No, was it ever blue at the beginning? I thought it was a different color. <gasps> Maybe it's the time of the day. Or what is this mirror? Oh, that's my effects. All right. Okay. Um, well, in that case, let's go to the crash site. Oh boy. There's, oh, there's wolves. Oh crap. They're gonna come for me. I'm gonna poke your face. Nothing to hit. You killed a wolf. Yeah. Nice. Can I pick things up? I can move it. Okay, that's how I move things. See? I, I have to push them with my feet. Uh, missed. Kill the wolf. Next. There we go. I don't know if you can. Like, uh, nothing to take. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, the wolves don't carry gold in this game. At least they're realistic about that. <laughs> All right, I, I think we're starting to understand what's going on in this game. Hey, buddy, over here. What is going on? Is the tree talking to me? Yeah, the tree talking to me. I thought I would never see another living soul. May the dark one rot for this. I want my buddy back. You gotta help me, please. You have to find a way. Oh, please, the spiders, they're all over me. I can't feel them crawling. Help you how? How, how did this happen to you? Look at his face, he's all creeped out. He doesn't like spiders either. I came to see the thing that fell from the sky. I was hiding among the trees when Karen Deadworms came and took away the bird of iron. Wow. I was terrified. The dead ones craved the flesh of the living. They heard me somehow. I must have stepped on a twig or something. Mm, spiders. They came for me. I wanted to run, but I was paralyzed. That's when he appeared. He did this to me and dragged away the iron bird. My plane? They dragged away my plane? In which direction did they take it? I don't see any tracks. Oh no, you don't. You help me first and I'll tell you where they took this thing. You call a plane. I want my buddy back. So this is the guy from the prophecy. Curiosity. Curse. How? Help you? How? Who did? How did this happen to you? See? The dead ones dragged away body. Maybe I have to ask about body. Thanks, Tusk. Have a good evening. Dark one. Prophecy? Curse. Tree. Spider. Z. Spiders. Wolf. Help. No, I already asked for help. Uh, the help part. So see. Let's look at the prophecy again real quick. He must free a man cursed from for curiosity's sake. 
This is that part of the prophecy. You gotta help me get my body back. You gotta find a way. Crave the flesh of the living. Twig. Wanted to run, paralyzed. Yeah, I already asked that part. Okay, well, we have to find his body. It must be close by. All right, let's look around. Nope. That is a super creepy game. No. Hmm. I can't solve it with what I have now. Maybe I need an axe or something. talk to uh, the guy finding you know I've, I found the uh, yeah I already asked about that um, curiosity tree curse um, axe, plane, plane, silver, no, maybe if I go to the bar they're gonna say something. What was the the name of the guy again? He's mad, I'm telling you, let's be thankful he never leaves the, that monastery of his. Who cares? More than half the people in this hellish valley are mad. Besides, how do you know he's mad? Have you ever gone to the monastery yourself? I have. It's to the northwest of here. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, come on, Juju. You've never been to the monastery. Yes, I have been, Claudia, and I need the monk's blessing. And before you ask why, it's none of your business. So are the rumors true that he's the only monk left? All the monks, except for the one Claudia thinks is mad, are supposed to have died mysterious deaths over the years. I don't know if the rumors are true or not, but I only saw one monk when I was there. Do you have anything to say? Watch out, you might become irregular here at the Severed Head. No? Wine? So do you have any wine? 
Yes, Jack, I have a little. I'm afraid it's not very good, though. If you are looking for good vintage, you better ask Kir Kirill. His wine cellar has the finest wine in the valley. Maybe I can ask about that. Oh, I can ask him about himself. Are you... Yeah, I asked that before. I asked about the goblet, too. Oh, there's this fiddle player in the back that wasn't there before. <laughs> Look at his face. It, is, it looks like he's wearing a mask. Is there a special tune you would like to hear? I can play anything you wish and I assure you, you won't find a finer mistral, minstrel in all of your travels. No offense, but I doubt you can play anything I would like to hear. Oh, look at his smug face again. I'm hurt, my friend. Do you doubt Jasha's talent? Why, not only am the most talented minstrel you'll ever hear play, but you'll find no musician with a finer instrument. Do you play here all the time, sir? Please, my name is Jasha. I just arrived a short bit ago. I'm a traveling man, you see. <laughs> You're stuck here. My travels only bring me to this village once in a great while. Seth is kind enough to give me a room and board, and in return I agree to entertain his customers. How is this guy able to come and go? Instrument. I never was a big fan of the violin. This is no simple violin, my friend. I dare say it's probably the finest crafted instrument in the known world. A long time ago, it belonged to another fine musician by the name of Christian. I was fortunate enough to chance upon the violin myself. Violin? Do you think that I could have your violin? It's really important. I don't think so. What, you, what would I do then? After playing this violin, no other instrument would make me happy. No, I'm sorry, I keep my violin. Travel? Valley? No. I can always talk to her, but no, she still uh, she still wants a drink. Do you know what? I think she's probably a spawn of the vampire spying on me. If you have something you think I might want to buy, tell me what it is. I don't know what I need to buy. Maybe potions? Nope. Uh, general store is where I want to go to. Do you have an axe? No? Well, I don't know yet then. Let's go to the monastery. There's the monk, the weird monk. Welcome. It has been some time since we had a visitor. All are welcome here. Have you need of my services? No matter if not. Know that you are welcome and that you may go where you please. If you have need of me or my brothers, simply ask. So the other guy said one monk. Services. What kind of services are you talking about? 
There are many, my friend. For a donation, I can give you a vial of holy water. I can also impart a blessing upon certain items. I do believe at one time that I might even be able to resurrect the dead. Wow, that's a lot of info we need to investigate. Holy! What would I want with holy water anyways? Vampires. It is their undoing, that's why. And they are everywhere. The lesser vampires, that is. Oh, there's more than one. Men and women who hunt in the dark hours, seeking a throat to rip and tear, drinking their victims' warm and salty blood. These vile creatures have a single weakness, and it is the holy water. Do you wish to donate a silver coin in return for a vial of holy water? Sure, let's do that. My thanks. The monastery coffers have lightened over the passing years. Here is a vial of holy water. Would you like another? All I ask for you is to donate a silver coin. Whoa, let's let's start with uh, one. You you're not here alone. Where are the other brothers? Alone? By all means, no. There are far too many things to which we must attend. Why, some of the brothers are here right now. Can't you see them? They see you. Isn't that right, Brother Leon? Oh, shoot. No? Blessing? Can you bless any of the items I have? I suppose you'll want a donation? Greed is a trait not tolerated among the Brotherhood, my friend. Blessings are free. It is my duty to perform these for all who ask. But you don't have anything which blessings will affect. You may return, and if you have something to bless, I will do so. Tell me about resurrection. Come on, you mean tell me that at what, one time you could raise somebody from the dead? I probably still could if I had the cup of life. The ritual has been taught to each generation of monks, and it's fairly simple. If I remember, it does require the ashes of the one you wish to resurrect, which usually means the body must be burned. The ashes are then placed within a golden vessel, the cup of life. <laughs> it's the the bartender that has the, the cup of life. While a monk speaks the words of resurrection, if there's someone you want resurrected, Find a cup and I'll perform the ritual for a donation of three silver pieces. Vessel, do you have any idea of what happened to the cup of life? I believe it was soon stolen sometime during the 18th century. That's a long time ago, so who knows how many hands it has passed through since then. If I recall, it was more of a golden callus than a cup. The Brotherhood spent many years trying to recover it, but they never succeeded. After a time, the loss of the cup was simply forgotten. Perform? I'm no miracle worker. My friend, I told you that I need the lost cup of life and someone ashes to perform the ritual of resurrection. And don't forget the donation of three silver coins. Um... No. Okay, the music stopped and I don't see... Okay, there it is. I don't understand, like, how do I... Can I put the... Okay, I can put the money in the sack, but it doesn't really tell me how much there is. I can't open it. How am I supposed to open it? Oh, there we go. I have to put it in my hands. Okay. Good. Good to know. Alright. Well, we have holy water. We have the for the story in the manual. I'm good, Mar. What about you? I'm, uh, I've just started this game recently, so I'm not really far in. At least I don't think I am. I'm a bit tired, but not that bad. Okay, empty room. Oh, we can go to the basement. Uh-oh. <laughs> that animation of going downstairs is so ominous. Holy moly. 
Let's see if I can find anything. Oh, there is a monk. Ah, you started me. The nameless one rarely has visitors, and even when he does, they seldom make their way to my quarters. The monk he is the nameless one you're talking about? Yes, I've been here for several years, but during that time he's never told me his name. Oh, I've asked him enough times, but he simply ignores me. I don't see him very often, and I find, him, find it hard to leave this desk when my hand won't stop writing. Who are you, if you don't mind me asking? My name is Jack. Me? I'm called Pius. It is the name the monk gave me. I don't remember my real name, and I don't recall much about my past. Can you recall anything before coming to the monastery? Anything at all? No, not really. The last thing I remember was walking up here one stormy night. I was covered from head to toe in my own blood. I was bleeding from a dozen of deep scratches and claw marks. I must have been attacked by wolves. There sure are enough of them around here. I owe the nameless one my life. If it weren't for him, I'd probably be dead. Writing. What do you mean your hand won't stop writing? Uh, sorry about that, but all this writing makes me tired. It doesn't matter though. I keep on writing whether I'm asleep or awake. It's this forsaken quill. It is cursed. The monk warned me, but I just wouldn't listen. It's probably not the first time my curiosity has gotten me into trouble. This is the curiosity guy. I was wrong. It's not the tree guy. Huh. You're trying to tell me that the quill is cursed? With this yikes face. Yikes. Oh my god. You know what? This face could make nice emotes. I think I, I might I might take screenshots and make it an emote with the yikes face look at me do you think i enjoy this i'm telling you i can't stop writing there are many cursed things in this valley the monk said it's karen's evil taint you think the uh, the, the, the smug face eh. i think they're all really good to be fair um he also told me that the quill once belonged to the dark lord's brother michael michael Cursed? Pius, isn't there a way to get rid of the quill? Maybe I can help you. Actually, there is a way, but that's also part, part of the curse. Every time I try to, uh, uh, I mean, tell someone how to help me, the words just won't come out. <laughs> uh, ask, is that what you were trying to say? You have a fine, do you? have to find a way to ask for help. Like I said, the curse will not let me say something that might help break its grasp. What about you write it? Right? Uh, curse? Oh, he's gonna tell me about the... I tried to, uh, uh... Michael. Tell me about Michael. No. Tell me about Dark Lord. Empire. Monastery. Holy Water. Uh, prophecy. Uh, bye. Okay, let's see the prophecy again. He must free a man cursed for curiosity's sake. Okay, so this is the guy I'm looking for. What if I stab him to death? <laughs> That's the answer for everything. Oh, no, I, I, I threw it. What if I punch him? Punch, punch. I'm gonna punch you. Punch, punch, punch. <laughs> Joking. Uh, okay, let's equip this thing again. <laughs> I wanna look like a farmer. I'm Jack the Farmer. Can I open this up? 
It's all just decoration. Oh, look at this. What is this? A cere cer ceremonial gothic mace. That looks better than what I have. Let's see. 120 damage point. 100 points. But it's a cool mace. I like this mace better. Even though it does less damage. Maybe it, maybe it hits faster. Oh, more stuff. Crystal innate. See. The crystal innate. Certain warlocks and witches, witchens, have found that the larger piece of translucent blue chalcedony have hidden healing properties. If the rare pieces of the crystal are properly cut in the needed enchantment cast, the crystal can be used to greatly increase the human body's healing abilities. Though. One must be cautious for the gem's power wanes with use, eventually becoming nothing more than a pretty bubble. Okay. Uh, is there more pages? No. Uh, I, I have to take it off its hands. <laughs> I have torn fabric. <laughs> I look like a badass like this. Okay. I got my, not my sword, my dagger and, uh, and the maze. Alright, maybe the nameless monk can help me with this. I'm just gonna go and check out this room. Uh oh, it's going deeper. It's going deeper. What? Oh, it's locked. Okay. Alright, let's this monk deserves to give me some answers. Brothers? Oh no, he's gonna tell me about Oh crap, I I forgot I forgot the name of the guy. A uh, curse? Key? Mace? Ah, what was the name of... He started with Pius? Okay, Pius. Thanks. Thanks, Hunter. Oh, yeah, I had uh, something else to ask him. I wanted to ask him his name. Pius. Uh, name? No. Okay. Well, I do not know for now. Yeah, maybe I should ask about the quill. Let's see what he has to say about that. That was a nice try. A scribe, maybe? Curse. Ah. Uh. Because <laughs> that's what the guy said. He said, ah. Uh. Let's, let's visit the rest of the place. Now, did I go? No, I went that way already. Uh. Yeah, there's that that other room is empty. Nameless monk. Nameless monk. Monk. Help. Curse. Yeah, I think that room was just a little room. Unless there's like something I can move. Yeah, nothing.
I, I want them to write me the answer. Like, that's what I think you should be doing. The quill, will you give it to me? Ah, yes, at last I'm freed, freed from that quill's curse. How did you... No, never mind, I don't really care. Take the thing, though for the life of me I don't know why you would want it. Okay. He's fallen asleep. So now I guess I'm cursed? Oh, as long as I don't take it, right? If I'm not a moron and I don't put it in my hand. But I'm gonna try it anyways. Okay. Nothing happening so far. But I probably can't take it off my hand. What? Alright. Apparently... Taking the quill was sufficient. Alright, so let's see. Aha! See? Oh, no. It didn't, it didn't change the... Uh, the prophecy. Hmm. Oh, I didn't want to go back upstairs. No, don't go back upstairs, please. What if I stab him with a quill? What if I... Just go back to our stuff. Maybe, uh, maybe I have to return to the village. I need to see and dispel one dead, but for forced to serve. Grief must unveil seven lost souls. Once it appears, nah. the hound that hunts the night that's the werewolf claiming a purse of silver to serve his need in place. Okay, that's too far. <laughs> it's a little bit too far for me. Step at a time. I want to see if he can bless this weapon. Blessing. Can you bless any of the items I have? But you don't have anything that blessings will affect. Okay. can't go there. Village. Let's go to the village. Oh, let's go to the bar because they're, they're the ones that are giving me all my places to go to. He's... Oh no, they're still talking about that guy.
I, I definitely have a feeling I haven't completed everything I have to do. Uh, maybe you can try to sell the quill. <laughs> no, she doesn't want it. <laughs> I curse I curse other people. I want to ask the guy about his mace. No, not. I want to ask the guy about his wine. Do you know where I might find some wine? If you want a glass of wine, go to the Severed Head. I wonder if I can hit the the girl with the, the mace. That I can't talk to him anymore. Well, weird. I mean, he's falling asleep. Can't be interacted with anymore. My, aren't you the violent one? Wake up. do anything with the quill it seems like other than holding it but it's so strange cuz I got the quill but it's not cursing me If I can go downstairs now, maybe the quill is the key. No,
Yeah, it just wants to throw it away. Okay. Oh, hang on. You can't tie the ribbon to the quill. Is it a weapon, the pry bar? No, it's just an item. What about this? No. I have to help the tree man, but I'm not really sure how I can help him with the quill. I mean, I have a quill now, I have a maze. Like this is a ceremonial gothing maze. Alright, let's see. Let's see if we can smash the, the bits. Oh, I can use the map. Sorry. That's not the maze. The spiders. Resurrect? Monk? Dead? Curse? I already have knowledge on how to get his body back. Yes, he did say he stepped on a twig, but... See, okay. You have to find a way. The spiders, they're all over me. I can feel them crawling. I want out of this tree.
help you how? Who did, how did this happen to you? The dead ones crave the flesh of the living. Dead ones. Dead ones. Flesh. Twig. The monk's instruction, but then he asked for ash. How do I light up the lamp? Because I could use the lamp to burn him. No, I threw it. to light it up. I could ask the, the guy at the bar, maybe. The guy at the bar, he can, he has a lighter. But then I need the cup. To resurrect people. Ah, oh, hang on, let's see. A lot of things. have a light a light but you don't have a pipe so why would I give you a light matches are pretty scarce around here you know that's it I don't have a pipe because I don't smoke you don't you should really get yourself a pipe if I would if I were you ah oh, pipe goblet is the word it's so precise. Yes, that goblet of yours is a very nice cup and I bet it's worth a good bit. Oh, I think it's my finest pride and joy. I'm just aching to drink. Yeah, I asked that before. Vintage. Vintage. Alright, let's get a freaking pipe. I've got some tobacco, but no pipe. I sold my last one to Kirill over a month ago. <sighs> you won't find a finer pouch of tobacco anywhere in the valley. I'm asking a silver coin for it, though. Do you want a pi pouch? Yes. Thank you for your business. Bye. Okay, let's see. Kirill. Kirill, can I borrow one of your pipes? I suppose so, Jack. You may have this one, but it's, it is not one of my favorite. Where is it? Hey, Dr. Derp. All right, I got a pipe. Um, 
a bit tired, but I'm doing good. Playing this game called Veil of Darkness. I'm getting a little bit of help here because I'm lagging a bit. It's not an easy game. Um, I need a light now. said, you lazy bartender, didn't you hear me? I need another draught of ale. I'm coming, Julio. Just give me a second. Sorry about that, Jack. Here's a match if you want to light your pipe. If I don't get Julio, another ale, he'll never shut up. Yeah. Nice. We got what we wanted. We can light up our lamp. I'm... I'm pretty sure I, I don't have oil in the lamp, I bet. And then I won't be able to light it up. Oh, I didn't see the animation, but I did lit the oil lamp. Or maybe I... The idea wasn't to light up the lamp, but just to <laughs> uh, put that thing on fire. Yeah, I think so. I shouldn't have done that. Hey, wait, what? What are you doing? I'm going to burn. Please don't do this. I'm going to burn. No! Uh-oh. What? Burn the soul. But I got some ashes now. And now I need a goblet though. <laughs> I don't know if I have to bring the ashes first to see if I can get because it sounds like I need to get wine, and I, get, I need to get the cup. Vessel? Do you have any idea what happened to the Cup of Life? I asked that before. Uh, ash. Ashes. Yeah, I think I need the, the cup before I can do anything. It is spooky. It's super spooky. Maybe his daughter is going to give me the key. Hey! How do I say this? Dead one. Oh, she moved. No, I was afraid we wouldn't get a chance to... Uh, I already talked to her about this. Um, wine. What wine are you talking about, Deirdre? Father has the finest wine collection in the valley. There's a wine cellar in the basement, but he always keep it under lock and key.
How do I... Maybe I can ask his servant. This game, you played it. You regret it? Why? Let's talk about it when I finish. Uh, oh, it's disappointing. The summoning... Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> well, it's a SSI game. It shouldn't be too bad, no? The colors seem better? This is more than 16 colors, but I can check. Hang on. There were more colors. Kirill, advice about the wine. Okay. Palette and density? Is that what I need to change then? It's like, no, mouse. Plus, no, I'm at the maximum. Because this is at the max. I can't go any higher than that. Uh, for the music, you would put it back down? Oh, uh, because it's like, it, it probably is more like, um, what you call it? Um, I don't know if a Sound Blaster is going to help with the sound. Maximum. Zero. Let's see. Maybe it has less contrast if I drop the palette intensity. Oh, okay, I see. So it, it is contrast. Yeah, it's a bit dark. Oh, crap. Maybe 10, 12. Yeah, it's the contrast, basically. I think I like MT32 better. This is a bit too, uh, excuse me, this is a bit too rough. I didn't have a chance to read it yet, but it's very long. And I'm gonna put it like eight.
not in the game. Huh. Restore. So what were we talking about before? Oh, the wine. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I I think it's okay so far. I mean, it's not the best game ever. Oh, I went to the wrong place. But I've seen worse. All right, tell me about the wine. Do you have any wine? Yes, Jack, I have a little. I'm afraid it's not very good, though. If you're looking for good vintage, you had better ask Krillin. His wine cellar is the finest wine in the valley. I did ask that before. It's a solid 5 out of 10. <laughs> so I had asked this question before. Yeah, I presume that's the case, but I'm, I'm a bit confused as to why. Like, okay, the barman wants a fine wine for his cup. I want the cup. And they want to drink the wine when I'm going to win. So essentially, I can't trust that guy until the end of the game. That's what it sounds like. Someone was supposed to talk to you in there. Well, there's the there's the minstrel that I spoke to, but I was I don't think that. Well, there's a cup here, but I can't pick it up. There's this guy. There's the lady. Yeah, you had you had no help. I see. I don't mind spoilers if I'm gonna be spending five hours uh, trying to figure something out then you know I'm gonna I'm gonna accept the hints. I heard that Edouard had a mysterious package delivered to that gypsy fortune teller before the night of his murder. What's her name? Maria? Can't you all just give it a rest? I thought we weren't going to talk about him anymore. Aren't you interested in what might be in that package? No, I'm not, but if you're so interested, why don't you go to the gypsy camp and ask Maria about the package? Nah. I'm not interested. The gypsy camp is all the way to the northeast, ne near Cairn's own castle. Said, would, could you bring me another ale? And while you're at it, bring around for Claudia and Holy, Holy who? Yeah, they're telling me all the places around. <laughs> I got the castle now. And I got the heapsy camp. Uh, I don't know how I rolled Gypsy, but let's pretend I rolled it properly. There is people. There is a Hipsy. 
How are you doing? My name is Carolus. I've seen this name before. Oh, I think I've seen him in uh, seen that name in uh, um, re um, one of the other game I played, Carolus. My name is Jack. I'm kind of new around here. Say, what are you carving? You mean you can't tell? Oh well, I never claim to be the greatest woodworker. I'm hoping that when I'm finished, this piece of wood will be a flute. Oh. Really? It isn't that bad. I'm sure you're a very good woodworker. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll prove to you that I'm not all that bad. You find me a good piece of wood, sturdy tree limb or something, and I'll carve you something special. Honestly, you don't have to prove anything. I insist. Besides, if you like what I make, you might become a regular customer. Next thing I know, you'll be wanting to—you'll be wanting me to make all kind of things. Special? What do you mean by special? Well, now that all depends on the wood you bring me. Different woods can be made into different things. I have to see the wood to. See for it to reveal its potential. Uh, potential. Flute. Uh, carve. Ving. What sort of... Uh, well, it's sort of look like... I mean, if you look at it from... Yeah, I know. Okay, I, I asked about that before. Okay. Um, do I have any wood in my inventory? No. Greetings. My name is Maria. Have you come to me for a foretelling? If so, it will cost you one silver point. Foretelling? You mean like tell the future? What the? Hey. It can't hurt. Give me your palm. <laughs> As I close my eyes, I see... It is a dark and dank place. I cannot see clearly, but I know you are there. You have a hammer in your hand, and your arm is rising and falling. Wait, there's something else. Nails. I see iron nails. That is all. Uh, nails. Iron. Hammer. Bloody hammer? Okay, it sounds like this hammer is gonna be the hammer I need to kill the vampire. Or something. Or you know what? So here's the prophecy. Here's my prediction. Um, it's at the at the beginning. It says that you prevent the uh, vampire from going to his resting place. What if you nail the coffin shut and he cannot go in there? No. Uh, I want to ask about the package. Edward's package? Ah, yes, I remember. I almost had forgot about this package. Edward was a strange man. He came to me many times for card readings and to discuss the occult. I don't think the man had many friends, so he came here to me as often as possible. I saw his death. When I told him, he didn't seem too surprised. The next day, he sent me this package. The day after, I learned that he was murdered. There was only one thing in the package, a key. Ah, I don't know what it's used for, so you might have as well have it. Key. Oh, okay. Yeah, she gave it to me. I think, yeah, okay, I got it. Thanks. Thanks, lady. Just wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything on the floor. What 
about you? Hello, I'm Carmen. I'm a healer. Are you hurt? If so, I can tend to your wounds, or is it something else you want? I can make many different potions. Okay, we got a potion maker. Potions? What kind of potions are you talking about? That all depends on your needs. I can make elixirs of healing for many of the villagers. Those take a long time to make. More time than I have at the moment, that is. But if you could find the correct ingredients, I might be able to make a potion that would cure the madness. Oh, what exactly do you need to make this potion? It requires the use of two plants, seeds of fennel and leaves of betony. I also need a lock of hair, oh my god, that's so predictable, from the one who suffers in a white belly jar with a face painted on it. With these, I'm fairly sure I can make the drop. Of course, I've never tried because I can't find all the needed ingredients. Yes, if you had all the ingredients, but you don't have everything that I need. Okay, so I need them all together. Wounds. I do have some wounds that need healing. Just be quiet and relax. Trust me, when I'm done with you, you'll be as good as new. A little drowsy, but as good as new. You won't even know you were hurt. There, all healed. Thanks, Garmin. Bye. All right. So we got the person that's going to take care of the madness for the little girl. Uh, Bethany, we need leaves of Bethany. Where's the... She's there. I guess she doesn't carry those. So I'm gonna have to find the leaves myself. Locks. Uh, I know it means a lot to you, but can I have the lock of hair Natalia gave to you? But if I give it to you and Natalia dies, then I won't have anything to remember her by. I'll tell you what. can borrow it for a while, but I want it back, okay? Good. We got the lock of hair. Now I need a little bit of space, so I'm gonna put... Uh, my ingredients for the this thing. I can't. All right, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I got a key now so I can go and check out what's in that closed room. Using Edward's key to open door. Oh ho. I should save. Just chips. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't arm myself properly. Oh, and the knife, I should equip. No. Oh, it doesn't let me. I got three coins. <laughs> That's it. I got three coins. Okay. <laughs> I 
maybe hang on he had he had the things you could move let's try to move this haha -ha! yeah oh boy yeah, that's a maze here we go oh no what's that sack uh oh that means I'm getting full oh well not that my inventory is full, yes, but I have a sack. A strength potion and a full elixir. Let's put that crap in the bag. I don't think I need a burned match, but okay. And I don't really need these stupid things, but... Anyways, okay, carry on. Carry on. Oh my god, there's like lots of bats here. Three. Yep. There we go. Well, I'm playing easy, so that's probably normal that I'm not struggling too much. I'm not that great. They're vampires, I'm telling you. How does it look like so far? Oh my god. <laughs> that looks really big. They're all vampires, I'm telling you. And bats carry disease. Tiny little flying cats, wow. Okay, sure. Tiny little cats that carry diseases. Door is locked. That guy works the mo most casually way. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna save the world, guys. I can do this. Show me the way. Oh, there's a crack in the wall. Can I, can I hit this? Ah, it's just a decoration. Oh, the music is stopped. We're in the wine cellar. Ha ha ha! In your face, jerk. <laughs> What's in the pouch? Nothing. All right. That's fine. We got the wine. <laughs> the guy was just like serving himself to, to the wine. <laughs> Good boy. 
It was just a big drunk card. That was his big secret. <laughs> okay. So that means that we're going to get the cup of life and then we're gonna be able to res the the poor guy. Yep. I think. Whoops. Didn't mean to start hitting things. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. I think I'm gonna stop though after I get the, the cup. Because I am tired. I'm super tired from streaming Saturday. If you don't mind my, uh, me asking, is that how is that a bottle of Kirill's wine you have? How did you ever get your hands on a? I mean, Kirill Guards is wine collection like. Sorry, I don't mean to ramble. I'll tell you what. You break open this bottle, we'll drink a toast, a toast from that fine gold goblet of mine. I'd like that set. I'd like that a lot. <laughs> That bottle of wine is the finest around, and the week Kirill hoards his wine collection, this is once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. <laughs> wow. Oh, he gave it to me. Well, that's perfect. Said this is going to tick you off, but I need to keep the goblet for a while. I promise I'll give it back later, but I need it for now. Wait a minute, what do you mean you need my goblet? Give it back now! Sorry, Seb, but I have to keep it. I'll bring it back after I'm done with it. Promise. <laughs> yeah, you don't know. You don't know what's gonna happen. You're gonna be raising people with it. I'm gonna be raising peoples! And the ash. I can't put it in there. Oh, whatever. Uh, monastery time. So this is the guy that... So I, I was certain that the curiosity guy was the uh, guy that had the quill, but I guess I was wrong. Uh, it's this guy that was looking for the plane. Come on, you... Ugh. Yes. Uh, the golden vessel. I have the golden vessel. Do you have any idea what happened to the cup of life? Yes. But I have it. Perform. I delight. You actually found the cup of life. And I see that you've got someone ashes as well. If you don't mind, I'll take the cup, silver coins, and ashes. I'll begin to perform the ritual immediately. Hey, asthmatic. Good evening. Sadly, you are joining me as I'm about to... Oh, a naked guy. As I'm about to finish the stream for tonight. Yes, he's alive. I have brought a man back from the dead. One who has retained his soul, unlike the flesh-eating dead ones. What do you mean you're raising dead people? Uh, uh, what the... I'm alive. Can't believe that... This, I'm alive and back in my own body. Sorry about what I did, but there was no other choice. Now, where is my plane? What makes you think I'm going to tell you anything? I'm sure you could have found a another way. You have no idea how painful it was to burn. I'll tell you what I should do. I should. You should tell me where my plane is, you ungrateful. I'll gladly tell you where your plane is. The dead ones took it to the swamp. Yes, the swamp. I hope it, they cast it into the quagmire. If they did, you'll never see your plane again. I'm leaving. May the dark one take your soul. Okay, bye. You again. Get out. Get out of here now. I'll have nothing to do with the likes of you. Let's check the parchment now. Aha! You must free a man cursed for curiosity's sake. See? It became gray. 
Dispel one dead but forced to serve is the next I will have to. I will save here. There we go. So we're gonna stop here for now.